What's up, Coffee Explorers? So in this video, so I'm walking the streets of District 3, just checking to see what kind of cool street food that catches our eye. So stick around, let's see what we get ourselves into. So one of the most common meals that you're going to find here in Vietnam is uh, grilled pork chop with rice and some, some veggies. And uh, that's what I decided to get today. Just take it and dunk it in this fish sauce here. It's definitely a good meal here in Saigon. The way they marinate their pork, it's like nothing that else that you, you've ever had. And it's got a nice sweet and savory uh, flavor to it. And then the broken rice. It just soaks up the flavor as well. I'm not entirely sure what this meal is going to cost me. It shouldn't be more than about 40 or 50,000 dong. But it's a pretty good sized meal for the price, I guarantee.
so I'm not entirely sure what I just got. Uh, so I know I got some quail eggs, I got some uh, beef balls and some fish balls, and uh, little orange and, and white striped things. I have no idea what those are, so I don't know. Maybe we should just give those a try first, see what happens. That's a uh, eggy, fishy something. I'm not even sure what that was. It's pretty good though. I'll give it that. So uh, yeah, let's. I guess I don't really know how to how to review that, but uh, yeah. Let's uh, let's try one of these beef balls. Yeah, it's definitely pretty good. Let's try one of these fish balls now. That was almost like biting into a fish marshmallow. It's kind of weird. It's good though. I like it. And deep fried quail egg. Now that's something that we should take home to the United States right there. Um, we have fried eggs all the time, and we, and we have hard boiled eggs. I don't understand why we don't do the deep fried hard boiled eggs. That was fantastic. Not sure what this uh, is gonna end up costing me but I'll let you know when I find out I'm gonna finish eating this and then I'll let you know when we get there so all of that stuff cost me 53,000 dong which is uh, just about two dollars and fifty cents a little less probably um, that weird orange and white one that was actually something really unique That was a salmon egg dumpling. So, yeah, I didn't expect to eat a salmon egg dumpling today, but it's something that I got into. So, uh, yeah, I think we're gonna go find a couple things, a couple more things to eat, and then we're gonna call this video quits. But stick around and let's find out what we get to get. Pretty sure I got the foreigner tax on that. Uh, Fifty thousand dong for two little tiny pieces of meat and a thing of rice. Yeah, it's a little bit expensive. I'm thinking. Oh well.
I'm sitting here at Bun Bo Hue Yen Huang Yang. Pretty sure this is a fairly famous Bun Bo Hue uh, restaurant here in uh, Saigon. It's over in D D3, as of course this entire video has been. But as I was walking over here, I ended up seeing a, a place that had Tom uh, Lamb and Mooping, which Tom uh, Lamb is. is uh, sticky rice that is cooked inside of a bamboo shoot and that the mooping is like a Thai style grilled pork on a skewer and it just looked really good and I had to pick it up so yeah that's what this is waiting on my bumbo way I ended up getting a beef pork and meatball noodle soup so that sounds like it's going to be pretty good. I also got a coconut and a Pepsi. The mooping and the uh, calm lamb to, together, that ended up costing me uh, 50,000 dong, which is just under $2.50. The beef, pork, and meatball bumbo hue, that cost me 85,000 dong, which is yeah, about $3, I think. Yeah, pretty close to three bucks getting ready to check it out they just delivered the soup and stuff to me so yeah this is gonna be a pretty cool pretty good spread here I'm thinking Alright, let's just dig right into this mooping here. Got one of these. Gonna dip it into into some chili sauce. Oh wow. That is an exceptional burst of flavor. A sweet smokiness to it. Uh, just wow, this is all I really can say. This is just oh no. It doesn't even need the chili sauce, that's for sure. Check out this rice here. Move on to this soup. Well, first things first, I'm going to go and take a sip of this broth, see how that works out. Mm. Yeah, that's good. It's, uh, I think it's like a combination of a pork and a, and a beef broth. It's, uh, really, really good. Nice and oily and savory and just, like, uh, the perfect soup broth. I would, I would say definitely 100% the perfect soup broth. the perfect amount of salt and just seasoning and everything it's just wow man, this is good good soup now let's go in for a bit of that pork melts in your mouth, that's how good that is. That is amazing. And I am just, honestly, I'm shocked at how much meat they put in this. It's a little bit on the expensive side for, for a dish in Vietnam. I'm just gonna grab a piece of this beef. Mm. 
a little bit chewier, but you know, it is what it is. This place is pretty good. I recommend it, for sure. And here's that uh, nice Vietnamese meatball. Bumbo Hoi. We got this nice big plate of veggies here, too. <laughs> that in let it cook down a little bit these noodles they got a nice softness and yet they're firm and they got that perfect snap of a perfectly cooked noodle so good a great balance of flavor. Like I said, this place is a pretty damn good place, so if you're ever here, you want to try a good Bumbo Hue that, from a fairly famous spot. Bumbo Hue Yen Hing Yang, 325 Vo Van Tan in District 3. You won't regret the choice, I can tell you that. This, this place is pretty good. Well, I think that's gonna do it for this week's episode about the food. I am just so stuffed, absolutely just stuffed after that bumbo boy. That was a big bowl of soup. I definitely didn't finish it. I got as into it as far as I could, and then I had to tap out. I hope you enjoyed the, the episode. If, if you want, go ahead and subscribe. I definitely appreciate that. Give the video a like, all that fun stuff. To help me uh, get the algorithm to start suggesting me to other people that would be amazing um, currently at right around 260 to 270 subscribers right now I would really love to get up to a thousand soon <laughs> we'll see how that works out right as always eat great food if you found any value or entertainment in this video, I would definitely, definitely appreciate it if you were to give the video a like and maybe even subscribe to my channel and uh, share it with your friends. It would definitely help me with the algorithm. That would be awesome. Thanks.